I don't know about you guys, but some of my favorite duels in Yu-Gi-Oh! were when the side characters who didn't get to duel much actually got some screen time. Like when Taya dueled Mai for Yu-Gi Star Chips, and when Tristan, Serenity, and Duke all teamed up together. Like those are some of my favorite duels as a kid. But there was one person who I always wanted to see duel who never got the true chance they really deserved. While reading the Yu-Gi-Oh! digital comic, I stumbled upon greatness. So today I'll be sharing the story of Mokuba, Kaiba, versus Yugi Moto. So we start out with a bunch of kids gathered around a vending machine, a capsule vending machine. And those were always so cool when I was a kid. They had a bunch of those in like movie theaters and like Asian restaurants. But these vending machines actually hold capsule monsters, which is a game where two players each bring five monsters into battle, kind of like chess. It takes place on planet Ganistar on a playing field of eight by eight squares. There are 250 monster types and there are five levels. To win at this game, the player must destroy all their opponent's monsters. But because each monster has a different level, they have various attacks and ranges. So there's a lot of strategy involved in winning. Also, until the game starts, the player doesn't know their opponent's monsters as they're shielded by their capsules, but they know their levels. And you're allowed to arrange the capsule monsters however you want, basically, at the start of the battle. Yugi is brand new to the game and he wants to get into it, so he goes up to the vending machine, but the vending machine gets jammed and Yugi gets robbed, basically, he gets scammed. Yugi starts beating on the machine to try and get his money or to get his capsule monster, when an old bald man, who's the owner of the vending machine, confronts him about it. And this next part caught me completely off guard. Kabe-sama, or Mokuba, approaches, and he is the Capsule Monsters Champion, which is crazy, right? He challenges Yugi, as he knows Yugi is the one who defeated Kaiba. He challenges Yugi to Capsule Monsters, however, like I said earlier, Yugi just started. So Mokuba basically bullies Yugi with the other kids in the area to get him to play. Mokuba just hijacks the vending machine and leaves a stack of cash behind. But we find out that he paid off the old man and the kids at the end of the day, so this doesn't really matter. Mokuba takes Yugi back to a secret base where they play capsule monster chess. The other kids are bullying Yugi still, and when they touch the Millennium Puzzle, Yugi's alternate spirit takes over. However, Mokuba is unfazed as Seto explained to him that Yugi has an alternate appearance. Mokuba chooses the planet Ganistar playing field version 1 Crisis Hill, as it's his favorite field. He brags that if he used his own collection, he would easily beat Yugi, so they take turns pulling from the vending machine one by one. At the end of each of them pulling five times, Yugi has three one-star monsters, one two-star monster, and one four-star monster, where Mokuba has two four-star monsters and three five-star monsters. So Mokuba is obviously overpowered, and it basically seems impossible that Yuki could win with these pulls. These pulls are ridiculous. Like I said earlier though, he paid off the old man to rig the vending machine. So the stakes of this match are quite interesting. If Yugi loses, Mokuba is going to cut off one of Yugi's fingers. And if Mokuba loses, he will receive a penalty game. So they both set up their monsters. Before the game begins, the players place their capsules on the board in any position. Of course, they know nothing of their opponent's monsters except for their levels. The starting position of the monsters can determine the winner. Only intuition and experience are reliable here. At the start signal, the capsules are opened. And I love the way these capsule monsters look. They're so cute but cool at the same time. I like both of their teams. So Mokuba has Dokla, a level 4, Dinosaur Wing, a level 5, Cobrud, a level 4, Gonpo, a level 5, and Red Zaka, a level 5, while Yugi has Trigon, a level 2, Great Pa, a level 4, Eye Mouth, Flower Man, and Devil Castle, which were all level 1. So Mokuba remarks how Yugi's formation is so amateurish, but he just started Mokuba, give him a break, Jesus Christ. This is when Yugi informs him that it is a shadow game, but Mokuba seems to not even care. He moves his level 5 Gonpo to attack Yugi's level 1 eye mouth, and Mokuba's Gonpo actually comes to life to attack Yugi's eye mouth, because it is a shadow game most likely. This is when Yugi does some talk no jutsu on Mokuba, and says he basically baited him into attacking. 
uh, and hoping that it would reveal some weaknesses about his game plan and strategy. Yugi counters with his great paw, level 4, which ties with Mokuba's Cobra, which is also a level 4, leaving Yugi at 3 monsters and Mokuba at 4 monsters. Mokuba uses his dinosaur wing to eliminate Yugi's flower man, leaving Yugi only at 2 monsters. Yugi moves his devil castle to the left in order to evade Mokuba's red Zaka. However, it's futile because his red Zaka chomps Yugi's castle from behind, leaving Mokuba with four capsule monsters to Yugi's one. And this is where Yugi shows how dominant he really is, as he set up Mokuba's four capsule monsters in a diagonal line. His last monster, Trigon, has a low level. It's unsuitable for close combat, but it has one advantage. It has a sure kill. Diagonal attacks that work even on level 5 monsters. So in one false swoop, Yugi's level 2 Trigon eliminates 4 high level monsters at once with Hurricane Beak Beheading. Absolutely disgusting. As for Mokuba's penalty game, he's placed inside a level 1 capsule monster which is extremely disrespectful. Yugi is extremely disrespectful. However, this is just a genjutsu, it is all in his mind. Um, but he believes that he is in the capsule and it's hilarious. So round one goes to Yugi. Capsule monsters is so cool. He destroyed the capsule monsters champion with ease. This is better than when Mokuba faced Yugi in the show though. So I barely even remember this duel because there isn't really much to even say. After Yugi defeated Kaiba, Seto is extremely depressed and he runs away. This is when the Big Five invite Pegasus to a meeting about taking over Kaiba Corp. Their first step is to basically separate the Kaiba brothers. And while Mokuba is on the island, he steals a kid's deck and star chips, then proceeds to challenge Yugi at the end of the day, hoping that it would prevent Pegasus from taking over Kaiba Corp. It was so convoluted. Um, I don't know why Mokuba thought <laughs> thought he could defeat Yugi. The duel is extremely quick. Mokuba summons Man-Eating Plant. Yugi retaliates with Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. And either Mokuba can't read or he can't do math. Or he thought the field bonus would give him an advantage. Because he thought his Man-Eating Plant would be able to beat Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Um, he's kind of brain dead. Yugi has Winged Dragon use a fireball attack, which defeats his man-eating plant. Yugi says Mokuba's heart isn't in his cards, and that's why he lost. But what about the attack points? I mean, Winged Dragon literally has more attack points than man-eating plant. Mokuba still not believing Yugi summons Crocodilus and loses again. And this is why I say he literally can't do math, because he loses 300 and <laughs> Crocodilus has 1100 attack points. Like, I don't know why he thought... He could beat Winged Dragon, like Mokuba might be the worst duelist of all time. Um, and that's how that duel went. <laughs> I, Mokuba literally rage quits, tries to steal Yugi star chips, and gets Takano Jutsu'd down from the ledge. So we'll leave it at that. Guys, let me know what you thought about the Capsule Monsters battle. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed reading that. Mokuba never got a really good duel in the anime, which is really sad. However, it is alluded to in the comic that they will meet again, so I can't wait to get to that. Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.